Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vishali. Today morning I saw very fresh mushrooms at the store. So I thought let's make something with mushrooms. So today I'll be making mushroom mutter masala. Let's see the ingredients. Medium sized mushroom about 4 to 5. One bowl of mutter or peas. 3 medium sized onions chopped, 2 tomatoes chopped, 2 to 3 chilies chopped, 1 tablespoon of garlic paste, 1 tablespoon of ginger paste, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, half tablespoon of garam masala, half tablespoon of curry masala, red chili powder half tablespoon, salt to taste. Milk half cup, oil 2 to 3 tablespoons. Quickly start with the recipe now. Oil is heating in a pan. Now add mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Mustard seeds are spluttering now. Now add onion. Add ginger and garlic paste. Now to this we will add salt. Salt will make the onion soft faster, but it will not let it burn. I cook till the onions are little brown in color. Now these onions are slightly brown in color. Now add chilies. Here I am using big size chilies which are not very hot. But if you like spicy masala then you can use thin chilies as well which are very spicy. Let the chilies cook for one minute. And now add tomatoes. I cook tomatoes till it softens completely. Now the tomatoes are completely soft. Now add dry masalas. Garam masala, curry masala. This curry masala has lots of turmeric in it. That's why we are not adding any additional turmeric. And red chili powder. If you didn't get curry masala, you can add turmeric powder. Now 
we have already added salt in this. I let the masala cook for one to two minutes. Nice aroma of curry powder is coming. Now add green peas. I am using frozen peas. You can you can use fresh peas as well. I have taken one bowl of green peas and four to five mushrooms. You can change this proportion according to your taste. If you want more mushrooms, you can put. Now add little water, you need only one or two cups of water because mushroom also have lots of water and it's going to release water after cooking. So accordingly you need to add water. Here I have added about one cup of water now and add half cup more. I need to cover it and let it cook for 5 minutes. Let's check it after 5 minutes. These mushrooms and peas are cooked. As you can see, there is lots of water mushrooms has released. Now we need to cook it with an open pan for some time so that the gravy should thicken. Now finally add some milk. I am adding milk here. You can replace this milk with the cream. But if you are adding cream, you need to add at the time of serving. You should not cook the cream. This milk will give nice texture to this gravy. Now cook it for 5 minutes. Now this is ready, your mushroom butter masala is ready, now let's serve it. Garnish it with some cilantro and serve it hot. Enjoy this mushroom butter masala with any kind of bread roti or rice. Thanks for watching this video. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes 